Hello, how are you? I'm not wearing makeup today because I'm already getting emotional. But I wanted to share something with you because I think it's really important. And I want you all, I want to share what I've been through, but I also hope that it helps you look at something a little bit differently or thinks differently about something. Um, so today is my mom's 10 year anniversary of her death. And not a day goes by that I don't think about her or wish that she was here. You know, I sometimes I just want her to hold me and tell me that everything's going to be okay and, and that she's proud of me. You know, she'll never see me get married or have a child. Um, but I wanted to share with you the things that I've learned um, from my mom's passing. So the first is that I will never stop missing her. And if there are people on this earth that I love and I want to be with, I make sure as hell I tell them. Because if there are people on this earth that give value to you, what I would give to have one more day with my mom here on this earth in human form. So if there are people that you want and you value, don't let your ego and your hatred or your anger get in the way because it's just not worth it. Because you really don't ever know the last time. You know, so savor those moments with those people that you have on this earth and if there are connections that you have severed and you or you're not talking to people because of stupid reasons and let's just face it they're stupid most of the time just get over it you know because you will never you will never know the last time that this person will be here or even those people in your life that you love and you do spend time with savor those moments because you will never know the last time I you know, only now do I remember, you know, the last time I went for a walk with my mom. You know, we went, <laughs> she could only make it down the street because she was too weak. And then so we went back and, you know, I, I never knew that would be the last time. Or the last time I would sleep in her bed, <laughs> I was holding her hand. And I was crying, <laughs> probably something like this. And she said, she's like, Vanessa, are you getting sick? I can't, you can't sleep in the bed if I'm, if you're getting sick because my immune system isn't well. And uh, I, I just said, no mom, I'm not sick, it's okay. <laughs> As I cried myself to sleep. And the last time I spoke to her, you know, I had to go, I had to go sign papers because I had to miss school. So I had to sign off my exams. And my last words to her were, bye mom, I'll miss you, I'll see you soon. And you just never know the last time of anything. Um, you know, even children, you know, you never know the last time they're gonna crawl and then the first time they're gonna walk. So savor those moments while they happen because you just never know. Um, the third is that you really can't do or say too many nice things to people. Nobody lays on their deathbed wishing, oh, I wish that I didn't tell that person I love them more, or I wish I didn't do so many nice things. People want to share more love. And what I would have given to see my mom smile in the last month of her living, I remember, um, you know, filling her room with candles because she loved baths and candles to just make her feel peaceful and surprise her and just make her smile. And so often we let our ego and our own insecurities get in the way of helping those around us and making other people feel wonderful. So that's why I compliment everyone when I see them. And I tell them I love them all the time. It's not because I'm being... I am being, an, I'm not being authentic, but because I mean it and nobody, everybody loves to hear it. So say it more often. Number four is um, 
affection is really important. <laughs> As babies were raised to love affection and being held and I am a super touchy person. And the men in my life, <laughs> I love them, but they're not as affectionate. And I used to hug my mom all the time, and um, and I really, I need more hugs. So hug people around you and show them affection and hold their hand and break that touch barrier because it just warms our hearts. Which brings me into my next point. Um, just love, you know, love with all your heart. Because love is what makes the world go round. Love is what heals. Love is what grows. Love is what helps people. And so don't stop and just keep loving. And if it's not working, love more. Because <laughs> the only way to heal a broken, frozen, angry heart is to love. And sometimes those most angry need love the most. And it's such a challenge. But everything in life is a challenge. Challenges are what make us who we are and allow us to grow. It's like a video game. Everything that comes at me, I'm thinking, how will I, how will I manage? You know, same with my mom passing. It's how am I, who am I going to choose to be after this? And we make those choices every single day. So make the choice to be who you want to be. The next thing I want to share with you is to let go. There are so many things in this world that we cannot control. <laughs> Most we cannot. And letting go is something that is very challenging for me. I need to just let go and realize that Everything will happen the way it needs to. I can be at the right place at the right time, but I need to just let go and let be and let live and just be me and not put so much pressure on myself anymore because it's exhausting. And I remember in university, I after my mom passed, I dropped a class. And um, to make a long story short, dropping that class made it be that I was not eligible for a scholarship that I was supposed to be for. Even though I had confirmed that dropping the class would not change it, but it did. And after that, I just remember this wave of almost giving up and just really letting go and surrendering to the things that happened to us. And the last thing I want to share is to forgive forgive because hatred and anger it just bottles up within us we can't take things personally and forgiving just allows us to love and be free and connects everything that I just talked about and so I hope this helps you and on this somber day for me I want to share love with you because you're worth it and I hope that you have a wonderful day and appreciate everything that you've been given because I love and appreciate everything that I've been given. And in such an odd way, I am so grateful for everything that has happened to me because it makes me who I am today. And I wouldn't be the person I am today. So I'm so grateful that for every day I spent with my mom and every day that I have from here on out on this earth because life is too short. And I am going to live my every day with passion and happiness. I love you so much. Have a wonderful day.